Hello, everyone. Uh, in this project, uh, in this video, I'd like to talk about uh, another commonly asked question during the PSTP interview. What kind of uh, research you intend to take on during residence and beyond? So in order to uh, uh, answer, uh, answer this question, we, we need to know that the interviewer wants to know if we have a plan uh, for our future project. And uh, that, therefore, we definitely need to give them a, a plan with some a lot of some details. And uh, also, we can talk about uh, our current project or previous project. Remember, in our in the public in our publications in the discussion part, we mention, we need to mention uh, some of our uh, the significance of our work and also the our future work plan for this work and uh, what's the uh, drawbacks or problem during this uh, work. So, so in in order to answer this question, you can definitely talk about those parts to see that uh, how can you uh, solve those problems in the future? How would you continue your research and how would you um, how would you address those uh, 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 those drawbacks in your in your experiment uh, in the future? And uh, and I would also suggest you follow the template for uh, the grant proposal here. And you can talk about a little bit of a background of your project and uh, what's the question the problem uh, in it and uh, what method you use to address those problems and uh, what's your expected result and uh, and uh, what's the significance behind that. You don't need to mention all about it and. But uh, make sure that uh, your story is complete, and uh, you can uh, use a uh, uh, part. You can use some of this aspect to to fulfill your story to let the interviewer know that uh, uh, your future project is uh, doable, is uh, um, is a reasonable uh, has a reasonable uh, 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 theory behind that. So something like that. Now I'm going to give you my answer for this question. Okay, Dr. Tsui, so can you tell me your future plan uh, of your uh, research uh, during the residency training? Yes, uh, of course. So uh, as you know that uh, my research mainly, uh, about the research I'm very interested in is uh, air pollution and uh, cardiovascular diseases. And uh, initially we thought that uh, after inhaling those uh, uh, PM 2.5 particles, so those particles can be deposited into our permanent tissue and uh, promote those tissue and uh, release the reactive oxygen species, uh, ROS, uh, as well as uh, inflammatory cytokines and, uh, and uh, to cause a problem. So after those mo molecules uh, re be released into our circulating blood, it can go everywhere and cause uh, the systematic uh, damage. Well, this theory actually was advanced by Dr. Otel, who, who is a professor working in the University of Louisville. Uh, Louisville. And uh, uh, he used uh, he, he advanced his theory by using his special animal model, uh, which is uh, uh, which is a mouse, which is a transgenic mouse uh, kind of expression of the SOD3 in the, in the pulmonary tissue by using this animal model. After inhaling those particles, all of the, the uh, ROS production significantly inhibited. So therefore, he thinks that um, uh, after inhaling those particles, only the pulmonary tissue is a major site that releases the ROS production. However, that's a drawback in his study. Uh, we all know that the SOD3 is an uh, extracellular enzyme. So after releasing this, uh, so uh, even to kind of work expressing the pulmonary tissue, still, uh, still those uh, so those enzymes can circulate into our uh, blood. So in that then that animal model, the the whole body's enzyme level significantly increased compared to the wild type animal. So I so that's why I don't think uh, the theory is the theory is uh, is uh, his theory is perfect. So in my theory, I think uh, probably those particles can, uh, so some small particles can, uh, can penetrate the uh, blood air barrier and uh, some particle, uh, particles can even damage the, the, the blood air barrier and uh, to enter into the blood and, uh, and, uh, uh, 
and uh, then those particles can located into the local organs and and uh, cause uh, local damage. So that's uh, that's my theory. So in order to prove that, uh, I need to uh, find a better way to check the, those particles. So after checking a lot of literature, and uh, I found that uh, probably uh, for the short term uh, checking, uh, we can use the the technetium uh, radio, 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 radioactive element uh, technetium for for this uh, uh, experiment. Remember, uh, I mentioned that uh, the most uh, richest uh, component uh, of the PM is the sulfur. So we can use the technetium to check the sulfur uh, in order to check the in order to see the systematic distribution of uh, air, uh, of a PM two point five uh, in vivo. However, that's a drawback for this uh, study because uh, the half life of uh, technetium is only six hours. So, uh, in order to do the long term track, uh, I, I uh, later on I find a a, a better uh, a better material which is uh, fluorescence uh, 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 microbeads, and those beads, the size of those beads is uh, is uh, similar to the PM two two point five. It's only about two micrometers, and uh, it's made by the uh, myelin paraformaldehyde, uh, which is a major uh, 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 component uh, for plastic. So I call it the plastic uh, plastic beads. So then, so by using these beads, I I uh, I can do a long term check for uh, to see how would the the particles uh, distribute into into the mouse body. So that's my plan for, for one, of, one of my project. So you see that in my answer, I give the uh, interviewer a lot of details uh, from the background, uh, how, uh, or why I want to do this project. And, uh, and I also give him some background of other researchers study and uh, what's a drawback uh, for their, um, their result. And uh, what uh, will I do for, uh, for, uh, for, for their drawbacks uh, to prove to 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 study to to do some research on my uh, on my advanced uh, hypothesis. So so and also I uh, and also I give them some details. Of how would I do that and what the method I'm going to use uh, use for that study. So that's it. So I hope you will also create your own answer uh, based on your own project and. Uh, and a good luck.